Greetings, folks. This is the tiny little Archer RS receiver from FR Sky. It's a full range receiver with equivalent telemetry range, which is greater than two kilometres. Works on the FR Sky Access protocol, 16 channel or 24 channel S bus output, operating voltage 3.5 to 10 volts, and compatible with all FR Sky Access transmitters. It, uh, this is how it comes in a little baggy like that and you have to solder on your own pins or directly onto the receiver depending on your build. The available pads are ground, voltage in, S port, inverted S port, S bus out and S bus in. S bus in is for connecting a, a slave uh, receiver for redundancy. S bus out is for connecting to a flight control board. Inverted S port is for flight control boards that don't accept the S port input, which is actually inverted. You can switch between S port and F port. And we also get valid frame rate telemetry. Also has uh, over the air firmware updates, which I will demonstrate in a little while once I've soldered the pins on. We'll do a quick register and bind now. Made up a new model. Access firmware, receiver number number two, set fail safe to no, pulse, no pulses. So it's recognized it here, push enter, registration OK. All right. Now we can bind it, waiting for the receiver. There we go. Select the receiver, RS. So now it's registered and bound. So now that we're bound and registered, I can show you how to do the over the air firmware update, which I haven't done before. So we navigate to the firmware folder, find the firmware you want to flash to the receiver, make sure it's the correct firmware, push and hold, and then you'll get the option to flash via the S port by plugging it in there, or you can flash it over the air. Let's try that. Uh, now we have to reconnect the receiver, select the receiver, RS, and it'll do the over the air update. This takes a couple of minutes to do, so I'll zip through it. And when this is done, we should be able to change from uh, S bus S port to F port. So that should be the option, so we'll see how that goes. And we can just discover some telemetry too to see what it's providing. So that's it's done, that's good. Let's uh, get out of that. And we'll reconnect. There we go, so. Let's have a look at receiver options. Receiver options, so here we can change the uh, change the high speed or whatever it's called, disable telemetry, reduce the power of the telemetry and switch to F port. So let's do that. It's done. Update. And we're done. So now we should be on F port. And now, let's uh, see what we can find in the telemetry. Let's delete all sensors first. And now we will discover new sensors. And we have the valid frame rate, RSSI and receiver battery. And I believe valid frame rate is a more accurate way or a more, more significant way of measuring signal integrity and signal strength so that's cool so there you go that's the lovely little rs archer rs receiver from fr sky s bus f port s port it's got the lot thanks for watching